Okay, we're gonna get started here with the uh, fast idle actuator, which is approximately right about there where the hex bolt is. Right there, and the actuator's right there. Which is that one right there. There's a vacuum line coming out here. Goes all the way back to here, to this three position solenoid. Okay, off of this, there's an adapter, and this is for people who's having, who are having problems with uh, the actuator being idled up and the computer not kicking it down when it's supposed to. This is how to bypass that and actually kind of fix it to work in a different direction. Um, after you disconnect this, you'll actually find on the inside, there are two prongs, two wires, this side with the notch is actually the ground to the computer. The computer actually turns it on and off. The positive is ignition controlled. And usually both of them don't turn on or turn off unless the ignition's on and the computer's actuating. But in some cases, the computer will actually idle it up and leave it up. And I'm gonna show you how to actually change that. Now inside, there are two wires. Uh, one is brown with a white stripe. That is the ground to the computer. And the other one is the black with the white stripe. That's the positive to the ignition. And what you're going to do is the computer usually turns on this brown one and leaves it on. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave that connected, but we're going to go ahead and cut the black with neg uh, black with white stripe. Now what I did was I wired the black with white stripe to the solenoid directly through here over to here and I'll show you over here into the actual running lights uh, the wire I used was the uh, red with blue stripe and what it does is is when you turn on the running lights it automatically actuates that actuator uh, assuming of course that the computer is putting on a negative pulse um, and then what you can do is down here, let's see if I can find it. You're going to actually adjust the normal idle down to, I set mine between six and 800 RPMs. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on your headlights, you're gonna turn on your, you're gonna turn on your headlights, you're gonna turn on everything, um, your accessories, everything that's electronic and including your running lights and headlights high beams the works what it'll do is it'll actually turn on this actuator after that and then you'll adjust it through that nut until it's about the same rpms uh, between six and eight hundred is what I, like i said what i set mine at um, if your computer isn't turning it on by the negative at all uh, what you can do is, is you can actually cut this brown with white and actually create a ground to here and uh, that way the lights will always turn on and off the actuator instead of having to have a dashboard light. Alright, hope that works for you.